Following her cancer diagnosis in 2020, Auntie Jo Cordero knew there was still more life to live. And now, thanks to the Blue Darling and Uncle Bert and the oncology team here at Venice Health Castle, she's continuing to share the Aloha spirit everywhere she goes. My diagnosis actually came after a normal mammogram. What they did is they saw a shadow in the lymph node, and the lymph node presented with cancer cells, and they had to go looking for the tumor in the breast because they knew it was coming from there. So they went looking for the tumor in the breast and realized that I had a very microscopic tumor in the breast. When you first hear the diagnosis, of course, as with all human reactions, it's like when you hear the big cancer word, it's death and dying. I didn't grieve the, the thought or the loss of my breasts. I actually grieved the thought of not having my family anymore or they not having me. And so I moved forward from there. So that's the first that happens. And then after that, for me, I became very aggressive in making sure that I had the opportunity to do good follow through, listen, pay attention, and be able to do all the things that were expected of me if I was going to take this journey to live. Auntie Jo is one of the people who has wonderful spirit and courage in her journey with the cancer. She is a delightful lady and reminds me of my aunties when I was growing up. I answered three questions. What do they have? What does it mean? And what we can do about them? Adventist Health Castle offers many new and innovative therapies. We're having immunotherapy, we're having molecular targeted therapy, stuff that we didn't have five years ago that won the Discover Nobel Prize in Medicine. We're now offering it now. We're offering it here at Castle so people don't have to go across the Ko'olau's and through the Poly to get the treatment. And they really made a commitment to improve services, give excellent care. One of the areas that's really been nice to work with is Infusion Center. About half of the patients we treat now are not getting chemotherapy, but they're getting the newest, latest immunotherapy and molecularly targeted therapy. And so for some people who used to have to be in the hospital, now it's nice to get the treatment, they can go home and help a lot of people on the windward side. I lived in Kaneohe since even before the hospital was here, so I have a long history with I could just get in my car and within less than 10 minutes I could be here. The family needed to find things to do with me and my husband and, um, and I have an antique car, 1934 Ford Roadster. He would say when he knew I was really down, let's go for a ride. Blue Darling is calling you. And so he'd get me all propped up and take my pillows and we'd get in the car and he'd prop me up in the car and away you'd go. You, you've got to have faith. You just fill your body with whatever that spirit is that you need. I plan to just be able to take it and use that positiveness of life to be able to, and, and the best parts of life to move forward. Brought to you by Adventist Health Castle. Aloha Mai Kako. Thanks for watching the Hi Now YouTube channel. Hey, do me a favor. While you're here, go ahead, click that subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with all the latest information about everything going on here in Hawaii. Where to go, what to do, where to eat, and where to shop. And don't forget, we'll see you all at HiNowDaily.com.